Okay, and welcome back to the lab. Uh, for those who saw my last video on uh, the problems with Vectrex, this is filmed literally 10 seconds after I finished filming that video. But it's on another day, because I'm at peace. Right. Okay, what we have down here, obviously, is a package with the Raspberry Pi. Well, we hope it is. Inside. Cup of tea. I've waited for this thing for... go. Oh, I've known about the project for over a year, but I uh, ordered it about two months ago. And, uh, yes, went through Farnell, or Element 14, and they have been very good. Keep me up to date with what's happening and all that. So, here we have what I assume to be the machine itself, and I assume this to be a receipt. Da, 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 da. Yes, my receipt. How much did I pay for this? Huh, doesn't say. You cheeky buggers. Customer No, it doesn't say. Price job, hold to that there. Okay. Hmm. Oh well, it doesn't say. You asked me a receipt. And uh, after one of the things that delayed it was uh, they found out it wasn't compliant to uh, safety regulations. So they had to all go back and do them again. So they've included this little information leaflet here. Let's switch these let's go off because it's not doing anything there. Right. Okay. Oh, those who uh, <coughs> are not subscribed to my second channel, link below, uh, may not be aware that I've got the oscilloscope. Uh, so if you want to see that video, drop along and have a look. So, here we have an anti-static bag, inside is... Dun, dun, dun. The Raspberry Pi. This is a Model B. There we go. Sorry. There's a Model B. It's a C there, so don't know what's happening there. 2011. So, what this is, those who are not aware, heathens, is a 700 MHz ARM processor based full PC. Yes, it's, uh, I have nothing to come, oh I do. Right, here's a Game Gear game. There we go. So, yes, not very big at all. Just handily dropped here is a SNES game. So, there we go. That's how big it is in comparison. 700 megahertz, uh, 256 megabytes of RAM, uh, ARM based processor, uh, PC system. Uh, we'll be running all Linux, Linux. But I get to work out how it works. Obviously, I do have a few presents for it straight away. It needs an SD card for it for its operating system memory. Which is that one is too big. Yeah, let's sort something out. That's not an SD card. Pillock. Uh yeah, yeah. Hmm. I'll sort something out for it. And uh, it needs some memory. For which you can use. <laughs> memory sticks. Aren't they nice? Yeah. So there we go. Uh, tutorials coming up when I can find an SD card for it. That fit. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Yep. <coughs> Thank you very much. Tutorials soon as I learn how to use it myself. Oops. Complete prat alert. I do have a memory stick uh, SD card for it. <laughs> I was trying to put it in the wrong way for some reason. What a plonker. It goes in that way. Happy. Let's go play! Well, once I've sorted these videos out. Thank you! Oh, just swallow me in. It does require, obviously, a... Uh, that's for the network. It's got... Uh, you can do internet through the uh, cable there. Uh, for power, it's powered by the USB port. Ooh. So... I'm yet to find out if I can put that in the USB hub. Or perhaps even run the internet through the USB hub like my serial terminal does. 
If you've got any ideas on doing that, running the USB the internet through the USB hub, uh, please let me know. So, we'll go and play in a bit. Thank you very much. Mm, bye. No, I can't eat you for lunch. <laughs>